Ms. Martinelli, you hired the defendant to do some work in your house. According to what I read, you would seen him doing some work cleaning out the gutters in a neighbor's house. You liked the work that he was doing. You hired him to do the same work in your house because the quote that you had gotten was substantially higher to do the same work that Mr. Lewis said he would do for you for 60 bucks. $60, yes, ma'am. He did the work. You were satisfied with the work. You said you had another project for him to do in your house, and that was to replace a sink and vanity in your bathroom. And you made a price with him to do that work. The price was? $100, Your Honor. $100. And what was he supposed to do for the $100, Ms. Martinelli? He said he would, um, the new one was in the garage. He would take out the old one and put the new one in. And did that require any plumbing? Yes. Well, yes, ma'am. Okay. And were you going to hire another plumber to do that? No. We, he said he could do it. Well, that's fine. Well, that's quite a savings. So you see someone who is cleaning out gutters on a ladder. You like the work that they're doing. And you know how expensive it would be if you had to hire a plumber to come in to do that work. It probably would have cost you five or six times that. Correct. So you hired him for $100. Yes. And you didn't like the work he did. Surprise. Surprise, surprise. Okay, now you're suing him. And you're suing him for a whole bunch of things. You say, A, he broke the marble top, he dropped it and broke the marble top for the vanity, and he didn't finish the job, forcing you to hire someone else to come in and do the job. Correct. <laughs> All I want to know is, tell me about the marble top. Did it come in a separate box? It was one box, the vanity and the marble top, and I asked him, I have a dolly, you can use the dolly to carry it in, and he said, no, I can carry it in on my own, and he lugged it in and then dropped the box. Okay. Now, Mr. Lewis, do you see what a fair person I am? Yes, Your Honor. Fair. They, that is my middle name. <laughs> did you drop the box? No, ma'am, I did not. Uh, as I was carrying the box, uh, you could hear a piece jingling on the inside, and I said, that doesn't sound good. There was a piece rattling inside the box. When we opened the box, she was with me. We opened the box, there was a foam insert on each corner. There was a piece of foam insert that was not there. When we took it out of the box, it had a chip. She said, is it on the inside corner or outside corner? She was there when you opened the box? She was right next to me in her living room. Where had you purchased this from? Home Depot. How did you get it home? That was transported in our, my daughter's car. By whom? My daughter and myself. And was it in a crate? It was in a big, heavy box. Yes, ma'am. Had you opened the box before Mr. Lewis arrived? No. Did you see him drop the box? Look at me. Yes. Did you see him drop the box? No, I did not see him even open the box. Did you see him drop the box? No, ma'am. So you don't know whether the marble top was cracked or not cracked before you brought it home. It wasn't jingling. There was no noise I, in there. I that. don't care. Okay. You didn't see him drop the box? No. Did he remove the old vanity? Yes. Did now, I did see him put the box down on the floor like that. Ms. Martinelli. Not. Well, now you're changing your story. So now, now I know that you're as... Sweet I mean, a lady as, sweet down, as, as sweet a lady as you look. The first story that you gave me was not truthful. You're talking here about he dropped the box. You told him to use a dolly. He didn't use a dolly. He said, I can carry it. And then he dropped the top and it broke. Well, that's a lie. And if you lie to me, all you have to do is lie to me once. He says you were there when he opened the top. When he put the box on the floor, he dropped the box. No, he no, opened no, no, it no. Up. That, 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 that's not a drop. And it was okay. cracked. Okay, so far he owes you nothing. I'm going to repeat my question. Did he disassemble the old vanity and put it in your garage? I had already left to go to Home Depot to get the replacement. Yes, he did, while I was gone. The answer is yes. Yes, ma'am. And what happened when you came home? When I came back, he was in the bathroom, and he had already taken out the old vanity. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a me it was a mess. And he carried in the other one. And meanwhile, I just let him do his job. I wasn't looming over him. Just tell me what happened on that date. So you got it out of the car. Now, your daughter wasn't with you, so I assume... She was there. Oh, so who took the new top out of the car? I don't recall if it was myself or all of us. I took it out, Your, your Honor. So he removed the vanity, the old one, disconnected it... Right. ...and took the new vanity and brought it into the house. Correct. Right now, he's earned his $100, as far as I'm concerned. 